It's 835. It's now time for Keller at Large. Here's John Keller. Good morning and thank you very much for joining us. Primary day, believe it or not, is just a week from next Tuesday. And if you take a Republican ballot on Tuesday, September 4th, you'll find three choices to challenge Elizabeth Warren for the U.S. Senate seat in November. In the past month or so, we've talked with two of the three Republican candidates, Jeff Deal and Beth Lindstrom. This morning, we complete the cycle with our guest businessman, John Kingston. And by the way, full disclosure, my son Barney, a Washington, D.C., political consultant is doing work for the Kingston campaign. Mr. Kingston, Joe, welcome. Pleasure to meet you. Good to have you here. Nice to be on the air with you. So, one of your mailers that I was looking at mm. claims that you are, quote, the only Republican who can stop Elizabeth Warren. Mm -hmm. I, wanna, I want you to explain why, because both your opponents have more political experience. Deal helped run a statewide ballot mm. campaign successfully. Uh, Lindstrom, as a businesswoman, might have more appeal to women. What makes you think you're the best choice for anti-Warren voters? Well, look, for, for starters, you, you nailed it. Both of them are political insiders. They've been doing this for for a very long time. I'm the only true outsider in this race. And so my objective here, the thing that gets me up every day, three words, fixing broken Washington, right? And, and the idea of being an outsider, bringing the appeal of bringing people together across partisan divides, across racial divides, to actually say, we can work together as Americans. You know, I don't think it's necessarily about Democratic solutions to the, the things that, that trouble us. I don't think it's about necessarily Republican solutions, but American solutions. And I've been an outsider my entire life, working to find those solutions in all sorts of areas in the business world, in a, in a, a dozen or more different non-for-profit and, and, and philanthropic initiatives. I seem to recall Elizabeth Warren casting herself as an outsider when she ran. It's an irony, isn't it? I mean, and, and so how quickly it, it happens that somebody uh, moves from claiming the outsider mantle, which, which, you know, some people legitimately have and some people don't, to then, then all of a sudden being part of the process. And as we see now, running for president. I mean, so, so all of a sudden it goes from like I'm the, the outsider to the entire process to now I'm accelerating a run for president, which we see her doing every day. She's pretty much left Massachusetts behind these days, shipping her staffers off to New Hampshire, as you've seen, front, front of the New York Magazine. The front runner in the in the uh, uh, the presidential race, etc. Now you mentioned being bipartisan in your search for ideas and solutions, and your mailer also promises, quoting again, the kind of sensible bipartisan leadership Charlie Baker offers. Sure. Now, as you well know from having been through the Republican convention, there are a significant number of Republicans in the state who don't like. Governor Baker, who think he's a rhino, Republican in name only. What's right. your response to them? Well, let, let's, let's start with fundamentals here. I, I am a Republican because I believe in some, some ironclad principles of the Republican Party forever. Strong defense, economic liberty, the, you know, the, the, the less that the government's involved when, you know, whenever possible, the more we flourish as a people. So those are the principles that I'm going to bring to Washington. Those are, those are time-honored, classic Republican principles, and I'm going to be, be advancing those every day for the citizens of Massachusetts. But the key is, he, it, it, what the country needs right now is what Charlie Baker's demonstrated in this state, reaching across partisan divides. I've been doing that my entire life. I've, I, I've got countless different initiatives which demonstrate that. My campaign is made up of Democrats, senior Democrats, senior independents, as well as Republicans, black, white, Latino, Asian. That is the campaign that I'm going to run, one which is a classically American campaign. We've we got a break, but what I hear you saying is those folks who think Baker is betrayed Republicanism have it wrong. Well, I think that the, the reality is <clears throat> that he is uh, doing the best he can under the circumstances in the state in which he is to, to, be, to be true to those principles. Try to get things done. Exactly. All right, let's take that break and we'll continue our conversation with GOP Senate candidate John Kingston in just a moment. Please stay with us.